look at the questions which are related to clocks if you observe this question there are two quantities are given and options are given in the form of a comparison quantity a is greater quantity b is greater both are equal and relationship cannot be determined and this type of uh, model question you will be seeing in the gre examination and here these quantities are given in such a way that quantity a is angle between minutes and hours and at 330 quantity b is angle between minutes and hours and at 645 so we have to find out the angle so first of all before we are solving the questions let's jump into the concept once you will understand how to find out the angle between minutes and hours and then we'll look at that question so if you observe clocks questions you will be seeing two types of questions broadly in clocks one is you will be having a time and we need to find out the angle that means just now we have taken a question like they will give any particular time 340 145 or 1230 something like that we have to find out the angle so to solve this type of questions what you need to do is just observe two points you can comfortably able to solve the questions which are related to so if you observe the clock how many hours are there in the clock there are 12 hours are there and what is the total angle inside the clock because this is a circular shape angle inside the clock will be 360 degrees that means we can comfortably say that all the 12 hours together will make an angle of 360 degrees if all 12 hours is making 360 degrees as angle what is one hour angle one hour will make 30 degrees so one hour in terms of minutes we can write it as 60 minutes one hour is 60 minutes that means 60 minutes will make 30 degrees from this one minute will make 30 by 60 which is going to be half degree that means I understand that one hour will make 30 degrees as angle one minute will make half degree as angle that means that for example 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock this angle is required how many hours one hour so angle will be 30 degrees for example 12 o'clock uh, for example 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock angle is required how many hours of gap is there 1 2 3 so 3 into 30 degrees 360 uh, 90 degrees so like that 30 30 30 all 12 hours together is making 360 degrees and now if you look at this question angle between minutes and hours and at 3 o'clock 40 minutes 3 o'clock 40 minutes means hours and is pointing towards 3 and 40 minutes means minutes and is pointing towards 8 to find out the angle between these two first of all how many hours of gap is there i am trying to observe 1 2 3 4 5 because 5 hours of gap is there 5 into 30 degrees the angle will be 150 degrees but this is not our answer directly because our sand will not stick to 3 it will make some tilt towards 4 at 3 o'clock it will be 3 and 3 10 3 15 when time is keep going the hour sand is also keep a movement towards 4 so you have to understand what is the tilt because of this 40 minutes so i already know told that one hour will make 30 degrees that means one minute will make half degree so we have 40 minutes of tilt so 40 minutes means 40 into half degree which is giving a tilt of 20 so this tilt is coming inside so you can subtract that to get your answer so 150 minus uh, 20 degrees it which is giving a result as 130 degrees that is the angle between minutes and hours and when the time is uh, 3 o'clock 40 minutes so like that you have to solve the question and even to solve this question we can also use another method that is nothing but formula approach so you can use this formula theta is equal to 11 by 2m minus 30h how can we use the formula so same question if you want to find out the angle you can use the another thing theta is equal to 11 by 2m 11 by 2m minus 30h so angle is required minute sand is 40 hour sand is uh, 3 so let me substitute here 11 by 2 m value is 40 and h value is 3 hours and minutes you can substitute so that you will get the theta value so 2 2 20 it is 220 minus 90 220 minus 90 means it is giving a result as 130 so both the methods is fine this is method 2 and this previously we have solved using the analytical approach anything is fine so hope you understand the concept so now if you look at the questions here so if you observe this question what is the angle between minutes and hours and at 8 30 so i like to solve the question using the method one that is analytical approach so 8 30 that means hour sand is uh, pointing towards 8 minute sand is pointing towards 6 how many hours of gap is there 2 hours of gap is there so 2 hours means 1 hour will make 30 degrees as an angle 2 hours will make 2 into 30 degrees which is 60 degrees and how many minutes of tilt is there 30 minutes i know that 1 minute will make half degree 
then 30 minutes will make 30 into half degree 15 degrees of tilt and please observe how the tilt is happening because it is 8 30 our sand will be moving towards 9 right it will move towards 9 that means this 15 degrees of tilt will come outside that's why we are going to add this 60 plus uh, 15 which is going to be 75 degrees mark the answer option b let's look at the another uh, question which we have taken in the previous what is the angle between minutes and an hour side at 330 that is a quantity a and quantity b is 645 after you get the numerical values of angle you have to compare and decide which quantity is greater and that is what we call it as a quantity comparison model and this is a repeating question from GRE examination so if you want to find out angle between minutes and an hour sand at 330 hour sand is pointing towards 3 minutes and is pointing towards 6 so this angle is required how many hours of gap is there 1 2 3 so 3 hours means 3 into 30 degrees there is 90 degrees of tilt and we have 30 minutes 30 minutes means 30 into half degree we will be getting 15 degrees of tilt here we have to subtract or add because it is 330 the hour sand is moved towards uh, 4 that means this is going to be the actual angle so you can subtract 15 from 90 and mark the answer as 75 degrees mark the answer as 75 degrees this is quantity a and if you look at quantity b it is 645 645 means what 6 o'clock 45 minutes hour sand is pointing towards 6 minute sand is pointing towards 9 how many hours of gap is there 1 2 3 3 hours of gap means 3 into 30 degrees which is going to be 90 degrees and because 45 minutes i am just trying to find out what is the tilt because of 45 minutes 45 into half degree which is giving a result as 22.5 so you can uh, add or subtract that so you have to subtract because hour sand will move towards 7 so you can just subtract this value from 90 so that you will be getting the, your answer so 90 minus 22.5 which is giving 67.5 degrees so quantity a is uh, 75 quantity b is 67.5 which is greater is a question 75 is greater mark the answer quantity a is greater let's look at the next question of the similar type what is the angle between minutes and an hour sand at 420 420 means what hour sand will point towards 4 even the minutes and also point towards 4 so that means there is no tilt because of hour sand only tilt because of this 20 minutes 20 minutes will make uh, how many degrees of tilt 20 by 2 which is going to be 10 degrees this is quantity a and quantity b if you observe what is the angle between minutes and hour sand at 630 630 means hour sand and minute sand will point towards 6 only there is no tilt because of uh, hour sand you have to consider the tilt because of this uh, 30 minutes one minute will make half degree 30 minutes will make 30 into half 15 degrees which quantity is greater so obviously 15 is greater than 10 mark the answer quantity b is greater let's look at the type 2 question type 2 question is angle is given and time we have to find out that means you will be having an example question like this time between 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock when the minutes and hour sand will coincide so when angle is given angle is given they will be giving these three angles majorly coincide or perpendicular and opposite coincide means what hour sand and minute sand will will uh, will be at the same location that means angle will be zero and perpendicular you very well know angle will be 90 and opposite means they are going to be like this that means angle between the minutes and hour sand will become 180 degrees so these are the angles they will be giving instead of giving a direct angle value they will be mentioned that they will coincide how, uh, when it is coincide when will be opposite when it is perpendicular like that they will be giving a statement and for solving these questions you can use the formula which i have told you in the previous theta is equal to 11 by 2m minus 30h so while you are using the formula theta value they will be giving and h value they will be giving you have to find out m value here so h value how to take they will be giving any consecutive hours like 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock something like that so if it is 3 to 4 you take h value as 3 if it is 4 to 5 take h value as 4 if it is 7 to 8 take h value as 7 so like that you can take the individual values of h and get the result so here in this question at what time between 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock hour sign and minute sign will be coincide so 3 hours to 4 hours 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock means coincide indicates angle is zero angle is zero and three o'clock to four o'clock is indicating that hour sand is going to be three three to four we have to figure out that means i am using the formula just list, just simply substitute these values theta is equal to 11 by 2m 11 by 2m minus 30h and here 
theta value is 0 because they mention it is coincide. So, 0, 11 by 2 into m. m value I do not know. I have to find out that. Minus 30 into h because 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock h value will become 3. So, from this data I can comfortably write that 30 into 3 is 90. 90 is equal to 11 by 2 m. And from this data m value will be equal to 90 into 2, 180 divided by 11. So, 11 ones are 11. We left with uh, 70, 11 6 are 66. We left with 4 by 11. That means at 3 o'clock, 16 4 by 11 minutes, the coincidence condition will come. So, mark the answer option B. So, like that you will be able to see the type 2 question. And moving forward to next question. The number of times minutes are in our sand of a clock coincide in a week. So, to solve this type of questions, first of all, you have to know this theory bit. In every 12 hours of time, the minutes are in our sand will coincide for 11 times. And they are going to be opposite for 11 times. But perpendicular will happen for 22 times. So, generally for every 12 hours, coincidence means what? They are going to be at the same location. That means, for example, if it is uh, 1 o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock is there. 12 to 1, you are not going to see any co coincidence condition. But 1 to 2, if you observe, 1 o'clock 5 minutes somewhere like that, the coincidence will happen. That means, at 1 o'clock 5 minutes, both minutes and hours and will be at the same location. And to, similarly, approximately 2 o'clock 10 minutes, 3 o'clock 15 minutes, 4 o'clock 20 minutes, 5 o'clock uh, 25 minutes, 6 o'clock 30 minutes, they will be at the same location. So, every hour the one time coincidence will happen, but 12 to 1 there is no coincidence. That's the reason in every 12 hours of time, the coincidence will happen for only 11 times. Similarly, opposite also will happen only 11 times, but perpendicular will happen for uh, 22 times because every circle will have two times uh, perpendicular. So, for example, the clock is moving from here to here. So, this is like this. So, for example, this is 90 degrees. Again, when this minutes and it is here, this is 30 minutes. 90 degrees. That means in every one hour, two times will happen. So, totally 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, one uh, perpendicular condition is going to miss. So, instead of 24, you will be getting 22 times. So, keep remember these points. And one more important keyword here, every time the coincidence are opposite or perpendicular, everything is definitely 11 multiplier. So, if you are able to identify which are 11 multipliers, you can easily solve this type of questions. So, how can, how can we identify 11 multipliers? You know the divisibility rule of 11. Difference of alternative digit summation should be equal to 0 or any multiplier of 11. So, you can also use that. So, you can just observe this question. How many times do hour cent of a clock, two hands of a clock will be opposite in 12 hours? So, in every 12 hours, how many times it will be opposite? It will be opposite for only 11 times. So, you can directly mark the answer as option D. And you can simply eliminate this because these are not 11 multipliers. And look at this one. How many times two hands of a clock will be perpendicular? In a day, in a day, day means how many? 24 hours. In every 12 hours, it will happen for 22 times. In every 24 hours, it will happen for 44 times. So, mark the answer option A. And even if you don't know this point, so directly if you want to solve, you can just look at which is 11 multiplier. Only 44 is 11 multiplier. You can directly mark it as an answer choice. No need to solve anything. So let's look at one more point. So number of times the minutes and an hours and of a clock will be coincide in a week. So you can just solve it using a, a number of hours calculation. But instead of that, you can just look at the option choices which are given there. And which is 11 multiplier out of these options? So, this is not, this is not, this is not. Only 154 is 11 multiplier. Even if you go, can check, how can we check the 11 multiplier? So, 1 plus 4, difference of alternative digit summation should be equal to 0 or any multiplier of 11. 1 plus 4 is 5 and the middle digit is 5. Difference is 0. Yes, it's 11 multiplier. Mark the answer, option B. Let's do some practice questions and comment your answers in the chat box. Practice question number 1. Practice question number 2. Practice question number 3. Practice question number 4. Thank you so much.